Well, Australia's crime wave is showing no signs of slowing down. A teenager overnight stabbed to death in Melbourne's northwest. Three young offenders charged over robberies in Queensland and now residents forced to hire private security guards to keep their families and homes safe. Enough is enough. Let's bring in Anthony Sharpman from ART Security in Melbourne. Anthony, good morning to you. This is a big step for people to hire their own security forces on the streets of this country. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely is, Carl. Um, crime is something that occurs on a daily basis, unfortunately. Um, we have the, the police resources that are currently out there in play, and, and look, they're doing a brilliant job. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, crime is increasing, unfortunately, so people are going above and beyond to, to do alternative methods at the moment. Um, and, you know... Uh, a company like ours, yes, we have we have had civil inquiries for for patrol um, officer increases, that's patrolling the street or public that's been reported. Hey mate, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Can you just talk into that microphone a bit more? I think we're losing uh, losing your audio. And and also while I'm doing that, uh, while you're doing that, uh, I just wonder this has this has a tremendous impact on families. Whenever the crime comes to their doorstep, whenever someone breaks into their car, whenever something happens that's close to home, it has a tremendous psychological impact. And that's the problem here. If people are going to you, then you're running the risk of vigilante activities happening outside of that. Uh, and that's my big concern. That's the big concern for a lot of um, authorities uh, in various states. All right, I think we've lost him. Um, Yep, we've definitely lost him. Well, I could keep rabbiting on about it if you want, uh, but I was I'll, I'll try in your and get him. Back. Carl. <laughs> no, I will tell you what, Sarah, it is like it's a it's massive a problem. problem. Yeah, and you see people in Queensland, you've seen all the crime that's come to their doorstep, and uh, you've seen these young offenders even on Facebook um, in the last a couple of days. You've seen young kids get arrested um, over fa a Facebook marketplace. They go, they get charged or whatever. These people coming to people's homes, um, they're saying that they're going to buy something and they get robbed. I mean, I don't, I don't understand how authorities can't see how significant an impact this is having on a day-to-day -day, um, life of people, law-abiding citizens at home. It's not stopping. That's the problem. It's only getting worse. Let's go back to you now, Anthony. I mean, where do you see it um, going from here? Yeah, sorry about that, Carl. Um, where do I see it going from here? I mean, as I said, a lot of, a lot of um, residents are inquiring us for patrol services. And also security, security back-to-base monitoring of their alarm systems, and also video verification services that we provide. And uh, you know, it, the police are doing a great job. So wherever they can get assistance, um, and I can only suggest to people out there, just have an alarm system in play that is monitored by an accredited control facility. Um, consider CCTV because if there are events occurring in streets, mm. that's when we're going to catch them. That's when we're going to capture the, fa mm. the faces of, of, of these people. Um, and we really need to help the police wherever possible. Um, and when we've seen that actually in play where we capture footage mm. and so forth, let then me, these people get arrested. Let me tell you something too. This has happened to me. It's happened to my family. I've had kids coming to my house and doing things. I've got them on tape. I know who they are. Now, I've got to decide what I'm going to do with it. But if I didn't have that vision, I wouldn't know what to do. And, and this would keep on happening and happening and happening because the cops can't be everywhere at once and it's only relatively minor offences. But if it's getting to that level for me, it's getting that, to that level across the country and we keep having to talk about it. We keep saying, well, we've got to do something about it and nothing happens. I'll come back to you, Anthony. We've run out of time, unfortunately. But uh, let us know what you think about no, that at home as well. Sarah. Hey there today, fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my goodness, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?